Michael Adams happens to be one of Seychelles' most famous painters, whose unusual artwork has earned for him high repute among arty circles around the globe. His preoccupation with the bamboo stick form and wild detailed vegetation mirrors the strength of Seychelles, which is the rich ecosystem, in an attempt to stir the subconscious mind with memories of Eden. These are little tiny observations, tiny focuses put together. If I look at your face, I can only see an eye or a nose or a mouth. The rest is out of focus. And that's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you little glimpses and I'm weaving them together. And actually you're helping me because when you're looking at them, you are also weaving them together by looking at small areas. And, and interpreting. And interpreting and putting them together. Now you will see a different thing from me altogether by the time you've finished. But it'll all have come from nature. His art gallery, which occupies prime space within his residence in Mahi, is a collector's paradise and a subtle form of escape for him and for those that have the eyes to truly see and feel the hidden rhythms between the pastel shades of green. Yeah, well, if you're sitting in a landscape, you know, I mean, one of your senses, which is hearing, mm. is very awake and uh, it influences you. Even your colors are influenced by it. Um, I experimented with uh, Ali Darwish, who was a Persian painter. We used to sit in front of a landscape with a, a little machine for music and sometimes we'd play Arabic music sometimes we'd play uh, uh, Wagner, German music, sometimes different kinds of music and the paintings would be completely different I see. I'm telling you, it, uh, music is more important, yeah You can't divorce no, 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 your senses are all awake five senses all waiting for inspiration when you sit down to paint The studio, where his creations come to life, is in the form of a tree house and entrenched in the midst of wild botanical plants and trees, lending an intangible substance to his paintings. In between his working hours, Mr. Adams spends a lot of time close to nature within his gardens, deriving inspiration from the sound of growing things all around him and the movement of the birds that are naturally endeared to his liberated spirit. Thank you.